I know this might sound pretty elementary to you, but what I want to do in this video is explore the identity function y equals x and its characteristics. Because when you are exploring how to identify the characteristics of a function, starting with the identity function is going to be really, really helpful. So therefore, you can just kind of streamline your understanding. So the identity function is going to look like this. But in this video, what I want to do is just kind of go through the fundamental characteristics that we're going to look for for all of our parent functions. The first one is going to be the domain and the range. So the domain is going to be the set of all x values that make up this graph. Now, one thing we can look at is the x-axis and the y-axis. The domain is going to be looking at the x-axis. What we're doing is we're looking for all the x values, again, that make up this graph. And one thing you can notice is this is a continuous graph. It goes infinitely over to the right and infinitely down to the left. So there's no holes, there's no breaks. If you were like a little person, right, walking along this graph, you would literally touch each and every, well not literally touch, but you would cross each and every x value. So therefore, the domain is what we call all real numbers. Now when we're looking at the range, what we're doing is we're looking for the set of all y values that you would cover within this whole graph. And again, you can see there's no breaks, there's no holes, there's no asymptotes or anything else that would restrict us if we were to walk along this whole graph, even though it's going infinitely up to up and infinitely down, we would cover each and every, or like we would address each and every one of these y values, right? As we're going up or as we're going down, this little person here is going to measure at each and every one of these y values, right? If you're over here, then you're at that y value. Over here, you're at that y value. Down here, you're at that one, right? So therefore, the range in this case is also going to be negative infinity to infinity. Now, the next thing that we like to look at is going to be like, is the graph increasing, decreasing, or is it constant? And on what intervals is it going to be increasing, decreasing, or constant? When we're doing that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna read it just like a book in the American language, which is we're gonna read from left to right. So we're gonna look at this person, right? And we'll start him here on the left-hand side of the graph. And we're just gonna kind of move to the right. Well, as we're moving over to the right, this little person is going up, right? The Y values that this person is addressing from left to right is going up. Therefore, we can say that the graph is going to be increasing. And we're going to use the interval just like we did with the domain and range. We're going to say from negative infinity to infinity. And the reason why is because no matter how far down over to the left that we go, wherever that person, like, wherever we can start, like, always as they're going to the right, they're always going to be increasing. And we're not going to use included parentheses because, again, when we're dealing with negative infinity and infinity, those are not actual values. Those are not included values. So, therefore, we are going to be, and actually you can't even be increasing, decreasing at a point of value, is more merely representing the interval that something is increasing or decreasing. The next thing we want to look at is, is the graph even or odd? So the best way I always like to remember even and odd is even graphs are always going to be symmetrical about the y-axis. So if you take this graph and you flip it across the y-axis, you would have something that looks like this. That's not the exact same graph. If it is symmetrical, whenever you rotate it about a axis or a point of symmetry, you're gonna get the exact same graph. A odd function is one that's going to be when you reflect it about the origin, which is going to be this point. And what that basically means is flip it around the y-axis and then flip it about the x-axis. So let's take this graph. If we flip it about the y, it's gonna look like this. And if we flip it about the x, it's gonna look at this, so we're gonna get the exact same graph. And if it's not even or odd, we call it a neither. Odd function. And then the last thing we're gonna to wanna to do is just identify the intercepts, right? So we're looking at this graph, and we wanna say, all right, where are the x and y intercepts? Well, this graph is pretty easy. We can see that the x-intercept is at zero, and the y-intercept is at zero. So therefore, this is a pretty simple graph, but in the next couple of videos, what I want to do is go through more advanced functions, but you can go offer your understanding of this to now go and explore some ones that are going to have a little bit different characteristics. Cheers.